to go out today to go to the doctors and so on my way home I stopped at a store that sometimes it doesn't seem like it would be like for diamond painting because it is a hardware store but as many of you know um, Harbor Freight is wonderful for having like storage things and um, I know a lot of us including me use their storage uh, containers for when we kit up our projects such as this one I did not buy any more today because I already have like 10 of these but this is what they look like um, and they come in packs of um, 24 little containers and they are $4.49 and that's what they look like just there's a little lock on the front of it and you just kind of pop that open and there are your drills. They are my favorite by far. Um, if you haven't seen my storage video, I will try to link that or put it in the eye um, up here uh, because yeah, I have done a lot of storage and this is definitely my favorite. This is pretty much what I use now all the time. Um, unless I am traveling, I will try sometimes to use my travel container anyways. So I went there because I was having some, with my um, new store opening, I have a lot of stuff all of a sudden. And it's like I'm trying to find places for it and a way to, to get it to work. And um, the tools to make what I'm working on. And so it's kind of just unorganized. And I hate when things are unorganized. It drives me nuts. So if you also, if you need storage, I tell you, they're the place to go. I went to Michael's the other day and Hobby Lobby and looked at their storage stuff. And I'm like, 50 bucks for something that is very similar to what I got at Hobby or at Arbor Freight. Um, it's just crazy how expensive it can be at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. So I ran over to Harbor Freight and ended up getting, and I'm going to pull my receipt out so I can tell you guys how much it also costs. Also, I got some of these. I will put these in my store just because I think they're the best knife um, for opening kits, boxes, really anything. Um, they work really, really well. And so, um, ah, they're just little box knives but they're wonderful and they are under a dollar so they are totally worth it <clears throat> so they the first thing I got was and I only got two things today um, but this is the first one I got and this was four dollars and 72 cents and that's it so I am going to open I wish I had a, I don't know where my box knife that I already have opened so that I could open my other box knife. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get my, so I don't have to open a new one. Alrighty. But yeah, I swear, I've had, I have an expensive box knife that, that I bought like, I don't know, not that long ago. And honestly, I never use it since I've got this one because this one just works so much better. Seems like it's so much sharper. And my other one is one of those like that you can replace the blade. And one day I didn't realize how loose it was. And the blade actually came out and was um, like on my couch somewhere. And I had to, it took me like a half hour to find it because it's so little. But like I couldn't just leave it. I mean, it's a blade for crying out loud. Anyways, okay, so I got these. Um, again, this was only $4.72. And there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 different compartments. Now, I bought these to put my multi placers in so that I could organize them, grab them easily. Because um, right now I have them like in baggies. So this will be wonderful because it'll be so much more organized so much more easy to access um and so um that is what i got that one for the next one this one so the what i was telling you but the one i was looking at michael's that was like 50 bucks was similar to um this so this one is a um i don't know how many containers let's see 
Um, let me look here. <clears throat> let me turn it around first off so that you guys can see it too. So it is, um, it says it's also designed to stack with the, the other bins that they have. So you can like put things on top of each other and they, they, um, go nicely. They, they're not going to like fall over and all that stuff. So, um, there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight bins total. And, um, the thing I liked about them is that they're nice and tall. And so, I need something for organizing uh, all of my tools and pens and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so this will be wonderful. Like when I was looking at Michael's, there was one really similar to this. And, um, but I just could not justify spending 50 bucks just for, um, you know a container but so it's got a really nice lid um, and it locks like really nicely so this part pushes down and then it locks so that you can carry it um, and they're not gonna fall out that's super nice um, and then the handle the grip there's like a, um, it's kind of like a rubber grip right here so it's comfortable to hold on to so let's open it up here okay so they're really nice and deep you guys like these are wonderful you could even like stack things this way certain things um, because they are so deep isn't that wonderful I'm so excited this is gonna be great because what I needed for um, I needed them to be like I couldn't some of the ones that you get are like small like this but I needed them to be big like this so I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff in it I'm so excited okay I know I'm a geek I love organizing I just I kind of geek out when it comes to like organizing things I have way too much fun with, way too much fun with it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but I did this one so this one um, I have all my pens here that still have um, the metal tip on them and then over here so there's actually two different sizes of these pink pens there is about I want to say a half an inch difference so um, if you can see that so there's a little bit of a difference so I have the two different sizes separated just because when I go and make like my polymer clay pens and stuff like that, I try to use the bigger ones. Um, and then I have all of these bags of baggies because I have like so many, it's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> then I have my grippies, the ones that you put the finger in and the you know plain old ones and then I have the ones that you get from like Diamond Art Club you know just your generic little squishy things um then I have all my wax in here and I have like 20 pairs of tweezers in here so I've got the really nice black ones and um the cheap ones I probably have about 20 pair of the black ones and about 10 pair of um the cheapy ones and then in this bin um I have this because I'm going to do something with it but this one is just a bunch of my cheaper pens that I um haven't transformed yet into diamond painting pens so I just put them in there so that way um, when I'm ready to work on them I can do that so this one is all done and um now I know even when it's like tipped upside down or sideways or whatever, 
it is not going to affect everything's going to stay where it's supposed to be so and now i'm going to go ahead and work on the other one closer here okay <clears throat> so in this one um I have it labeled at the angle you guys can't really see that but let me see if I can get you at an angle that you can see it let's just see okay so I have them all labeled so that I know what's what these are all my multi-placers that I will be selling so um if you've ever got a four placer um, it will look similar to this, which is the, um, the style the four placer comes in. It is a thin multi-placer. Well, I have that same, um, style. It looks just like the four placer, except I have it all the way from three all the way up to 15. Um, and I love these. Like, I won't use any other multi-placers. These are, like, the only kind I use now. They just work so much better for me personally. Um, then I have your regular three-placers that a lot of people really, um, like and are used to. Um, six, seven, and ten. And then I have the flat two pla The fat- Fat? <laughs> Not fat. The flat- um, three placers and the flat four placers um, and so these also though can be used as little straighteners that's personally what I use them for it just seems to be um, I don't know a little easier the when you use them as a multi-placer you have to put the tape on them and for me I just it's more trouble than it's worth um, I've done it. I tried it out for a good while just to see, and I just, I just, yeah, I, I couldn't get it. Um, if you notice, my four placers is empty. I have a ton of them, and I can't remember where I put them off the top of my head right now, so I'm going to have to find those and put those in there, and I might have to use two um, different ones for four placers just because I have so many of them. So, um... I am super happy that I got all of this organized and it's now all in one place. So when I'm looking for multi-placers, I don't have to go in a bunch of different areas of um, where I keep things and in different boxes and bags and all that kind of stuff. It's all in one place um, and locked securely. So, and now again, I know that if I tip it, everything is going to stay where it should stay. So, um... That makes me very, very, oh my gosh, that lock is tight. That makes me really happy because um, it takes a long time to sort through these, especially the, the multi-placers because these ones, they say the number on them, but man, it's hard to see that number. I mean, it is really hard. I don't even know if I can get it for you guys to see it, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a, you have to have it at just the right angle, um, and so yeah, it's just a pain. So knowing that these are going to be like secure and they're not going to be able to like come all over the place, that is worth it for me. So that is all I have for you guys today. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a absolutely wonderful rest of your day. It is uh, Friday morning at like, it's like six in the morning right now, so um, anyways, but as always, don't forget you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So with that, keep on shining. Bye, guys. Okay, so <clears throat> right after I finished doing that, I um, was looking for those four placers, and I successfully found them. They had fallen on the floor next to my desk in the box that I had put them in, so... Um, and as well as the four placers, I have the refillable, um, plastic tips. So, those will also go in here, and now I'm officially 
saying goodbye. So once again, keep shining, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.